The fourth Sunday of Easter, Good Shepherd Sunday, is also appointed by the Church as the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Through the readings today, we recognise Jesus as our Good Shepherd, who calls us to follow his voice. During this time, let us pray especially for those called to a vocation, that they will listen to the call of the Shepherd and have the courage to follow the path set before them. Let us begin our worship with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, give us new strength from the courage of Christ our Shepherd, and lead us to join the saints in heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the days of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart, and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments, and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added to their number. The Word of the Lord. Shepherd, I shall not want. 
A reading from the first letter of Peter. Brothers and sisters, if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that, free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life, and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Rounding up and herding sheep is a task most are familiar with, whether it be from practical experience or the slightly less taxing option of watching a TV program. A good shepherd makes this look easy. Once the sheep begin moving, they all seem to follow the one in front, with very few sheep breaking away from the pack. Undisrupted, the sheep will willingly and easily follow the shepherd to fresh pastures. Sometimes, however, there is a disruption, something which spooks the sheep or divides them. When something occurs to spook the leaders of the flock, they can suddenly turn the flock in the wrong direction, away from the lead of the shepherd. If something causes panic or confusion within the flock, they can become divided or scattered and cease to follow the lead. Often we find our lives disrupted. This may be on a large scale, affecting everyone around us, like the COVID-19 pandemic, war, drought or economic crisis, 
or it may be much more personal to us. A falling out with a friend or loved one, financial hardship, or mental or physical suffering. When we are swept up in a large-scale disruption, some of us will turn towards the leaders among us, particularly religious leaders and politicians. Some of us will become the leaders that people turn to for guidance. On the smaller scale, when our personal lives are disrupted, we may become scattered from the flock, isolated either physically or mentally from those around us. Whether we are followers or leaders, whether we are facing large-scale disruption or personal crises, we all have the one shepherd. Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, calls us to follow him. When we have been turned the wrong way, he is there to guide us back to the right path. When we are scattered, he knows and calls each of us by name leading us back into the sheepfold. Let us listen to and follow the Good Shepherd, allowing the voice of Christ to lead us to green pastures. Let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. As we go about our daily lives in this coming week, I urge you to listen for the call of the shepherd. If you are feeling lost or unsure, seek the voice of God, who calls you by name, to lead you to the right path. Let us trust in the plans that God has for each of us, and be open to whatever form that may take, especially that which will require our courage, and that we least expect. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jubilation, this is the feast of the Lord.